How can the statements be used by different users, also called stakeholders, to answer questions about the company? As an owner, how would you use the information from both the income statement, also called the statement of earnings or the statement of profit and loss, and the statement of financial position to decide whether or not to apply for a bank loan payable in one year? The income statement indicates that the company was profitable over the last year. We can see net income was equal to 99400 We can use that information to calculate the profit margin. Profit margin is calculated as net income divided by net sales. We have the net income 99400 Net sales, we have to go a little higher to find that. 1,460,448. Note that we're using net sales. We have to take away the sales returns and allowances and sales discounts because they reduce revenue. 1,460,448. If we calculate that out, it will equal 6.8%. What does that mean? This shows that the company generated almost seven cents of profit for every $1 of net sales. Is this good or is it bad? Actually, we can't tell. We would have to know the profit margin from past years, plus the normal profit margin for a company in this industry, in order to determine if this is good or bad. What is good is that they've generated a profit instead of a loss, and we can say with assurance that this is good because without benchmarks we don't know how good it is, but we do know that generating a profit instead of a loss is a good thing. What else would the owner use in order to assess whether they would be able to apply for a bank loan? Well, they'd use the Statement of Financial Position. The Statement of Financial Position allows us to assess the ability of the company to meet their current obligations. Because remember, the company is looking to borrow money for only one year. So we're not as concerned about the long-term liabilities as we are about the current liabilities. I can see that the total current assets are 223,318. Those current assets are available to pay down our current liabilities. So let's look at the current liabilities. The current liabilities are 112,994. What does that tell us? It allows us to assess the ability of the company to meet their current obligations when they come due. Remember, the current assets are equal to 223,318. The current liabilities are equal to 112,994. We can use this information to calculate the current ratio. The current ratio is calculated as current assets divided by current liabilities. If we do that here, we can see that this is equal to 1.97. What does that mean? It means that for every $1 of current liabilities, the company has $1.97 to cover those liabilities. The current ratio clearly indicates that this company would be able to pay down their existing debts when they come due. And so possibly a bank would be willing to loan them more money. The statement of financial position also shows how a company is financed. This company has total liability of 238,617 and they have total equity 350,698. What we can do is show how the assets have been financed. Are the assets mainly financed through debt or equity? How do we calculate this? We calculate the percentage that is financed through debt and the percentage that is financed through equity. Remember that total assets are equal to total liabilities plus equity, so I can use this number right here to calculate the percentage of financing. 238,617 divided by 589,315 shows me that 40% of the assets have been financed through debt. If I take the 350,698 and divide it by 589,315, I would see 60% of this company's assets have been financed through equity. This company is mainly financed through equity. 
so the statement of financial position can be used to assess how a company has been financed. You can see an owner could use the statements in order to determine how much money they might be able to borrow from the bank, and the bank would use the same statements to determine how much to lend. How would a creditor make use of the information on accounts receivable from customers and the payables to suppliers of merchandise? First, let's double check the statement of financial position. We can see that accounts receivable is a total of 28,586. Accounts payable is a total of 93,333. A creditor would know that the outstanding accounts receivable of 28586 will be received within a few months, but they'll also know that the company will have to pay suppliers $93,333, also within the next few months. When making a lending decision, a creditor would use this information to determine the likelihood that the company will be able to repay their accounts payable using the money from accounts receivable. Right now, that possibility seems fairly low. The creditor may use this information, in conjunction with a lot of other information, to determine whether the company will be able to repay a loan when it comes due. That's it for this question. Thank you so much for joining me, and I hope to see you in the next video.